what problem does this solve? Well, I think uh, we've seen over the last few years everyone talking about cloud computing because every small startup has used it uh, to get going, uh, to, to build massively successful internet companies with no upfront capital. Big enterprises don't have this capability, and what we're doing is we're finally democratizing this capability uh, for, the, for the large enterprises out there that are trying to solve really important problems. But why don't the existing systems from you know, what was Sun or even from Dell and HP, why, what, what is this? Because it's intriguing to me that you've got the backing of you know, the founders of Sun and some of the, the, the yeah. this allegedly smartest uh, venture money in Silicon Valley for a computer startup, which is, you know, old school, dude. Yeah, I mean, we're the first computer systems company in this new cloud computing era. And I think it's, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to take the kinds of approaches that the big internet companies use to operate their massive data centers package into a product that average enterprises can deploy. And the reality is that the products that have been available up to this point don't give uh, those capabilities to Well, them. and there is this trend with, with Facebook and Google and uh, I presumably Apple as well, um, making their own servers, yeah, to yeah. designing, the, is that because there's a hole in the marketplace? But it's because it's my understanding that the, what they're doing with those is not making them more powerful, making yeah. them uh, more that's, focused. That's right. Well, there's a whole new generation of software. There's mobile applications, social applications, big media applications that every enterprise is, is tackling right now. We have biotech com customers working with these next-gen gene sequencers. Uh, pumping huge amounts of data. It's just not practical to, to move all that over to the internet and, and use the public cloud. Uh, a lot of cases, uh, just too much data. In a lot of cases, it's too expensive. In a lot of cases, you just can't do it because of regulatory reasons. Now, Amazon Web Services would disagree with this. Well, I mean, I think even Amazon Web Services would uh, acknowledge that there's a private cloud opportunity. They just did a huge deal with the CIA a few weeks ago. So I think big enterprises... But that's, even that's a public-private cloud, and it, it seems like it's more about security than about computing power. I think security is something that uh, every large company thinks a lot about, especially if they're competing with Amazon or the other big cloud service providers. Do you think that, uh, that uh, I went to this Amazon Web Services conference last fall, and, and uh, you know, it was uh, preaching to the choir there, but there seemed to be a belief that because their cost structure was, their, their physical plant was so big, yeah. and their costs were so low, or, the, or the, what they were charging was so, their margins so thin, yeah. that it was really squeezing out room for a lot of the other players in the industry. Do you think there's a lot of room still for a lot of other data warehousing players, if you will? I think that there are lots of opportunities, especially in private cloud. I mean, looking at the, the metrics, uh, Gartner predicts that we're going from 7.5 billion in 2011 to 35 billion in 2016. That's a 36% annual growth rate. It's the fastest growing segment of the computer industry. And Nebula is, is targeted that, that segment of the industry. Enterprises just don't trust uh, an online bookstore with their most sensitive data. And uh, in a lot of cases, uh, we but even NASA, where we used to work, is using uh, web services for yeah. a lot of their work and a lot of their computing work. Yeah, and I, I think that there's a real place uh, in most enterprises for the public cloud, but I think there's also a huge opportunity for private cloud uh, for the kind of large data sets and the, and the secure data sets uh, where privacy is a, a big concern and security is a big concern for these companies. I, I, can't under, I don't understand why Sun has had such difficulty since being acquired by Oracle, but you probably have a better understanding of that than I. Well, I mean, they've got the right philosophy, uh, hardware and software engineered to work together. Um, I think Nebula would just disagree with uh, the hardware and software they've chosen. Um, we think that most enterprises want to buy servers from IBM, HP, Dell and uh, others, and I think most enterprises don't want to lock themselves into a proprietary platform. They want to use OpenStack. Uh, it's one of the reasons why OpenStack, which I co-founded, has been the largest and most successful open source project in history, and that's the core technology in this product. It's interesting to see old IT make it a big comeback here.